Can I move this one? Oh, hello, sir. Right sorry to Emerge. sorry to bug you. What is up, guys, and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. We are doing some of the Yae story quests. Actually, I say we're doing some of it. We're actually doing all of it. Um, so last time we started up this quest, and Yae was kind of like, she was Yae. Let's be honest, she was being very Yae about it and not really caring about all these people's um, goodwill and, and everything. You know, it's. They, they were getting possessed because they are doing some weird ritual thing, and then, uh, all of a sudden it started affecting her publishing house's numbers, and now it is all at war. So now we are going to war, and we are going to, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go meet Yai over at the publishing house. So, let's go ahead and continue this. I hope everyone is doing well. Hey, if you guys are wanting to catch me on my streams, I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain State Time. Come by, hang out, we're always having a good time. Um, also, if you guys are enjoying these videos, definitely feel free to go over and hit that subscribe button. That would be a huge help to me. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get this going. Over to the publishing house. I wonder what horrible plan Yai is concocting here. All right, Nico, we're here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Hmm, why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Find the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, mm. wow. Your first guess and you got it absolutely... Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, sh <laughs> Yeah! Nico is so oh, rude. Wait. Hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh! How about we confiscate all the copies? <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. But that means there's nothing we can do. Well, I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, it has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm... I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. So, we're gonna make a better book? That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Okay. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko! So, you want us to write a novel? I've never written a novel before. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. <laughs> anyway, by we there is a writer us. submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. 
When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. Okay, for a second there I was like, oh, she's gonna go hang out at the restaurant while we do all the footwork? <laughs> I guess we'll- we'll see. Alright, let's go talk to some people. Whoa! Okay, we- We got people. Let's- let's talk to people. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artists you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. Huh. Okay. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. The only recent book worth mentioning is A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. I'll be honest, I read light novels for the cheap thrills. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything, it's just a little slow-paced for me. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits where the protagonist is super strong right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action-packed right from page one. The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. There's much huh. more light novels than Paimon realized. <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yaimiko. Miko! We still have no idea what to do. <laughs> Alright, here we- I've, I've never been in this place. Oh, I didn't even know this was a restaurant. I've ran by this so many times. Huh, there you are. Let me introduce the team. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. I was gonna say, Shigeru yeah. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> now then, yeah, I'm on tell me sure. what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? For example, <laughs> we know we need an original core concept. <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. 
Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune. But to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. It's almost like Akitsune wrote it. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Monsta and Lila! Hmm, but that would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. Alright, let's start with chapter one then! Uh... What are you thinking? Oh, man. Here we go, here we go. Um, reincarnated in another world, encounters airborne emergency rations. <laughs> oh man, that one, that one takes it. That one's so funny. No, no one's ever go for that, no matter how you tried to play it. Hmm. Oh, come on. Out of a maximum of 10 points, I'd give that a nine. Nine's Is there not really bad. flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? <laughs> it's a strong opening. An easy way to grab the reader's attention. Never underestimate the appeal of culinary-oriented subject matter. Food, after all, is a topic that everyone is interested in. Hey! Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Huh? Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? What's okay, what's the next you? chapter? You don't look so good. Wait, what? Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Before it came <laughs> to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life, appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? <laughs> That's good. Oh, wait a minute. So it's we not like Zhongli. Li. We'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course. Everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. All right, cool. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now. For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! Jesus, calm down, Paimon. Oh, oh, does this mean your inspirations come back? Hmm. Rock and roll, girl. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, we'll do that one. Let's see now. The protagonist arrives in Liyue and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. 
Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Qixing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Hmm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. Hey, we're doing better. Fun and action packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. All right, well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. Great. Well, <laughs> now Satomi We're can We're using get his likeness. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Hmm. Yeah, we can do a resistance soldier. When the Vision Hunt Decree comes out of nowhere, the protagonist joins the resistance, starting out as an ordinary rank and file soldier. Don't forget to Find put in Struck by Lightning several times. To make great contributions to the war effort become best friends with the Resistance General, and get to know the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, working together with everyone to finally secure a grand victory for the Resistance. Huh. It's... surprisingly normal. I think it's rather good. A lot of people still like the classic hero's journey. From ordinary soldier to great leader, a fresh take on a timeless classic. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the Omomori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Whoa! So we're really going head-to-head -head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Huh. Okay, I mean... We're, we're really adding a lot of stuff to our resume here in Teyvat. <laughs> we're, we're good fetchers, we're warriors, we're resistance soldiers, we're now novel writers. <laughs> yeah, also exorcists. A lot, a lot's going on. <laughs> Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters, and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. It helps out. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. I'm so hopeful. <laughs> We're gonna be rich. <laughs> All the more. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, we're already gonna go submit it? Wow, this is all going so fast. I wanna find out who wrote... 
this uh, this summoning spirit book. Just because Yai was mentioning how it sounds like it's all stuff that's normal for a kitsune, uh, that like common knowledge for them. Um, so if we write something, we'd have common knowledge for like human and, and whatever else. But uh, sounds like a kitsune wrote this. Do we know the kitsune? I don't know. Are you sure you'd like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. <laughs> what do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? That's right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Okay. Wait for th wait for three days. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for uh, three whole days. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna just like let that go. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm still curious if we will even meet the writer of this summoning spirits book. It'll be really interesting to see what happens with that. Maybe, maybe it's someone we know? Mm, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, let's do it one more time. We're gonna go a little bit over, just to make sure we hit that three-day thing. At least I hope it's three days in game. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ah, you've all finally made it. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. <laughs> I have it's three copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Hmm. We sold a lot of copies. But it doesn't feel like we accomplished your goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight and your wish will come true. Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. It's no becoming a thing of the past. Anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually oh. had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. 
Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Interesting. It's working well, itself out. Feeling less worried now? Wow. You're right. Everyone's shifting focus. But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> This is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Also, I guess we are going to meet the author. To figure out what his motive for writing it was. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when oh. we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Yes, this is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel! After that, he lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. I don't like that look you're giving us, Yai. <laughs> okay, here we here we go. Let's do it. It's like right below us, too. This is great. It's all right here. Of course, Yai would, uh... Would toy with us for this plan. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. This was never here before, but of course this is for the quest. Miko, what is this place? The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so... eerie here. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is <laughs> pounding, but Paimon I mean, we just beat the crap out of a ghost Come in the last on. episode. Here we go. Hey, We've Paimon. done it before. We can do oh, it again. Paimon's scared. Stay close by, okay? Don't leave Paimon all alone. <laughs> you pu push her away. See you, Paimon. <laughs> all right, let's do this. What do you mean to? Oh, Kazuha. Kazuha's like way too low. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll bring in... You know what, let's bring- let's bring in Bennett. Well, let's Much. do this. Yeah. And I believe we get a- yeah, we get to play as Miko! Cool, okay. So I don't really have very much, uh, experience playing as Miko, so we'll- we'll see how it goes. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Hmm. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Surprise, this place was... Abandoned. I mean, look at all this stuff that's still here. 
Oh, why, hello. There is no escape. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. So is it three of them that I... that I do? No, my sword. Oh, I totally missed him with that one. Oh, dang, is that already... Are those dealing damage to everything around them? I have no idea. So let's, let's take a look. Okay. Yep, okay, so that is... I'm doing little little lightning bolts. Oh, nice. Very nice. You shall perish. Okay, so I see those those little little pillars are dealing some damage. Well, let me um let me take a look at this. I've never let's see. Okay, so she has that. Um Oh, she has she has the noblesse. <laughs> okay. Uh C3, okay. So let's see what this does. Um Okay. Okay, so the more that are around. Got it. And then this guy. Okay, so it just does... Just does electro damage, so it's just more electro damage. Okay, I wasn't sure... Wasn't sure if there's any, like, specific, like, buff or anything like that. At least I didn't see it in there, so... Yeah, we're just gonna- we're just gonna play Miko like a, uh... This place is huge. Almost like a DPS. This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Okay. We've done that. And... Oh, okay, we're going down. Ah, yes, hello. Right here, right now. Emerge. Dodge this. You're open. <laughs> <laughs> Nice! That wasn't bad at all. That was kind of- that was kind of awesome. Okay, oh, what do we got? What in the world do we have going on here? Wait, is there... I feel like there's something... ...down here. Aha! Nothing left for us. Did I have to leave Nico out for that burst to really, really do an awesome job? Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna play as. Oh, nice. Okay. What if I sit? No, not gonna work. Okay. Hold on, there's got... Was there something up here that I just didn't get? No, there's nothing, just, uh... Just look around, and there is a chest... Let's see. Ooh. No, can I not? No, I can't, okay. That works, that works. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go on. We saw there is a chest, though. And we got their cabbage and wheat. <laughs> Taking all of it. <laughs> all the goodies. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we're down here. Oh, why, hello. Okay. 
return to oblivion. <laughs> there is no escape. I'm just gonna deal the ultimate right. electro damage to you guys. I'm going in. Uh, let me weave you first. Right now, emerge. Get it. Get wrecked. Oh, do you just heal? Bro, no. Oh, wait, is it those... The more of those pillars that are there, then the more damage that deals? I think I'm getting it. I think I'm... I definitely think I'm getting it. Okay. Um... I want to be able to get to that one chest. Okay. So we're back here. Why... Why is everything upside down, by the way? I just noticed this. Okay, well... Here, here we go. No, that's going back down over this way. Okay, we're coming... We're coming back over here. We're gonna... Okay, still can't get to... Uh, I see a handle. Um... Okay. We're just gonna come back over here and... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wait, didn't mean to hit that. There we go. Oh, this has been activated too. And that one. Uh, okay. Nothing appeared here. Oh, I see it up there, okay. This is one big puzzle, that is for sure. Hold on. There we go. Anything over here? No, nothing. I gotta, like, look up. Also, um... Always use... Elemental Sight. Cause there's that. Okay, so let's go back up over here. We'll go back up over here as well. You know, oh, can I move this? Oh, totally can. Look at that. Look at that. Can I move this one? Oh, hello, sir. Right now. Sorry to Emerge. Sorry to bug you. Now you shall perish. Okay. Miko. <laughs> Get him. Oh wait, no, that's not Miko. There we go. Oh dang. <laughs> She's dealing some pretty good damage. Not too bad at all. Okay, I swear I'm getting this figured. Okay, so we... We moved... This one? Oh. Okay, I got it, got it, yep. Okay, we need to go this way. I wanna... We gotta get to that chest. Oh. Hello, gents. Show them, right now. <laughs> I'm always watching. Right here. Dang. Come on out. Right now. That was just crazy. That is so cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, can I move this one? And we got to the chest. Yoink. I want to see if there's something else up here, though. I feel like... Uh, apparently nothing. What? We got a potato. We got the potato. We're good. We're good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> get, get out of there. Oh my gosh. And... Is it the mirror? Do we go through the mirror? Whoa. No. It's that painting we just saw. What is this place? 
Oh, we do go through okay. the mirror. Next, I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't going to have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. But try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. It's like he's sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is Paimon seeing things? Did the painting just move? Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What the...? <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war! What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense, yes, great power within him. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> It is futile. 
You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me. Hey, it's an awfully come evil on, come author. On, come on and take your mind. Miko, think of something. Miko, Miko. <laughs> <laughs> Was he kidding? Uh, <laughs> oh, Rakusa, you haven't changed. Oh, they a know bit. each other. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, are huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you? <laughs> Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. You were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? <laughs> yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, spirits, memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories, too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it Just happened. Just like that. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... <laughs> She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves... It's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then, you finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. <laughs> what are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, <laughs> of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. 
You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? <laughs> <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Man, all that trouble just to say <laughs> she beat him. <laughs> I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up. But I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye then, Urakusai. <sighs> One last thing, Miko. I just want to know, have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. <laughs> and even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> he disappeared! Are you awake? How are you feeling? Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Uh, three, two, one, one, two, three. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? Huh! <sighs> you guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? <laughs> oh, well, there's no way out now! We're in too deep. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. That was the uh, that was the most I've ever seen the traveler talk without Zach's voice. <laughs> I know we we talk about it all the time on the uh, on the stream, but it is, we really wish that uh, the the voice actor for the traveler would uh, would get a lot more lines. <laughs> Alright, Miko. Let's do this ritual. Let's get it. Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. So, Miko. What exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyako happen? Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hiyakiyako is just a gathering of the yokai. 
Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh, yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the leyline memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the Shrine Maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat, but when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going! Okay, cool. You know, before this episode starts to get to be a little bit long, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I want to thank everyone for watching all my videos. If you are enjoying my videos in any way, shape, or form, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And we will finish up this story quest in the next episode. I'll see you guys there.